Hey folks, Twisted Christian here. Today I want to bring you some news that I think it's important when we talk about the cryptocurrency industry and when we talk about uh, XRP and a few other cryptocurrencies that you may be involved in. Now one of the things that I've been sharing on this channel is that everything about CBDCs and the Bank of International Settlements teases more CBDC interoperability progress and new four nation pilot All right so this is across several different you know it's, it's been making its news around social media the Bank of International Settlements partners with Australia Malaysia Singapore South Africa for CBDC trials alright folks so they have four countries that they're testing this I think we're closer I think at some point that they will I switch over to this new system and I do believe that XRP is going to be one of those cryptocurrencies that will be used to facilitate transactions but also to look at this as far as when we look at revaluation and you know are we going to be are we going to be able to get our hands on the Malaysia and the Singapore uh, CBDC before any kind of revaluation but I think this is important because it just shows how close we are getting to this and we have a lot of different things going on uh, prophetically speaking uh, XRP there's been a lot of prophecies that have been out concerning XRP and how it's going to be used in the new system and then we also have what XRP and Ripple and what they actually are trying to do and they want to be in this position they are pushing to be in this position to be part of the banking system you know ripple white paper recommends cryptocurrency XRP as CBDC intermediary right so they've been pushing this and pushing this and it's interesting how they call it the white paper because we know a lot of countries are calling their economic reforms white paper and one of those reforms that we're looking for is Iraq like we know that Iraq was supposed to begin implementation of their white paper for economic reform right here back in February 2021 Iraqi government to begin implementation phase of the white paper for economic reform so I think this is I think this is important if you guys don't know what the Bank of International Settlements is I'll just read a quick definition the Bank of International Settlements the BIS is an international financial institution owned by central banks that fosters international monetary and financial cooperation and serves as a bank for central banks. The BIS carried out its work through its meetings, programs, and through the Basel process, hosting international groups pr pursuing global financial stability and facilitating their interaction. It also provides banking service, but only to central banks and other international organizations and is based in Basel Switzerland with representative offices in Hong Kong and Mexico City so that's what they so basically that's what they do they are banked to all the other central banks so obviously they are moving forward with this because they actually have the SEC lawsuit and it just looks like more and more it's getting ready to be dropped so in the way that I look at this and I try to compare it with the dinar, you know, the currency reset and everything that's going on on one side of the area when we look at conflict and all these prophetic words and then we have all these prophetic words financially and it just seems like everything is just coming and it's all coming to a head and by the time all this takes place as far as on the one side of the prophetic with the conflict and a lot of the other things that's going on within the stock market you're having the central banks in doing what they're doing uh, with the CBDCs and eventually at some point we're going to get a dinar revaluation and they are the, that there's that progress that they are making towards that goal so then and, and still folks I still believe at some point there's going to be like a total crash of the cryptocurrency markets I believe with regulations you're gonna see a lot of exchanges disappear you're gonna see a lot of crypto coins completely disappear and there's a great possibility as we look at the prophetic that a lot of them may actually reset close to zero or even down to you know 20 30 cents 
from their highs, you know, before it goes back up. So we, we're looking at that too as well. I don't know where XRP, how far it's going to go up before it comes down. From here on out, it could go from the current price is a dollar twenty-six. It could easily go up to you know seven, eight dollars, you know five hundred bucks, you know before any type of crash. So right now, because people are going to ask, where do you buy XRP? Right now, there's I got the three links down below in the description. Uphold is the only one that I know here in the United States, right? Doesn't include outside of the United States, where you can buy and sell XRP. Now, with under KuCoin, uh, I believe that you can only buy it with a debit card or credit card. And then you have another link is atomic wallet but you can only exchange like your bitcoin for xrp right but a lot of people say stay away from atomic wallet you know so basically uh right now as far as my xrp i'm just doing it all on uphold and if at any point in the future before this takes off i can easily just transfer you know maybe to like coinbase whenever they decide to open that up and so at least with uphold uh, for those of you who are looking for that uh, crash in the cryptocurrency market that uh, you could you can with uphold set up buy the limit orders and that way if it does you know at that certain point that you know maybe when all these regulations come out and it starts affecting the cryptocurrency markets and people are selling off so then you are able to get in cheap during that crash because you may not be able to go in if the, when this cryptocurrency crash happens you may not be able to go in and hit the buy button right we've seen that with the stock market we've seen that uh, during glitches and other things with different trading pl platforms all over the world to where you can't go in and buy or sell or anything you know and it's blocked out for a period of time during the crypto crash I am pretty sure with everybody selling off and everybody trying to sell off uh, it's you're gonna see a lot of these it doesn't matter how good the technology is no matter how good the app is or how good any of these trading platforms are more than likely you're not going to be able to get in and click the buy button when everything is cheap at least in the very beginning of the crash or a lot of people are going to be trying to sell so when you set your limit orders on uphold uh, you can set you know you, you can just put a hundred dollars at you know 30 cents each and then when it does go down that to that price Hopefully your buy limit order will be executed because it doesn't guarantee it. It depends how fast this crash could be. Now it could be over a long a long period of time. It could be over it could be overnight. But looking at the prophetic and some of the things that people have been saying, that it's going to be very very quick. So we prepare ourselves for both scenarios. So when it comes to the CBDCs and everything that's going on. Like I said, folks, watching this like a hawk, there's different countries like Nigeria and uh, a few other countries in Africa that are starting their trials. It's very interesting seeing, you know, it's almost like every other day there's another bank, there's another bank, you know, uh, piloting a CBDC or, or they're trying to contract a company to help develop their CBDC. And that's just, like I said, almost every other day it just seems like more and more just comes out and they're pushing more and more towards this uh, whole CBDC. And that's one of the reasons why I'm investing in XRP. I'm not telling you to, but I do believe it's going to be part of a new system. And whether it, it changes in value before the Dinar RV or around the same time, either way, you're going to be, be prepared. Because if for some reason they let go of the lawsuit, if these banks start announcing or XRP announcing that these banks are going to be using XRP you know you're going to see this price jump but you're going to see it jump whenever this lawsuit is dismissed and it just seems like when it comes to the actual XRP lawsuit I mean it's obvious that it's in XRP's favor right now right so it's just a matter of time so like right now currently it's at a dollar 27 now I told you in my last video I was going to see if it was going to go back down to a dollar to get back in. It actually went down to about a dollar five. So I actually did get back in. And then, uh, so if, like right now, it just seems like there's a lot of steam. 
there's some momentum going on right now. But I'm also looking at the regulations that are that are going to be popping up in the month of September, folks. Remember, I talked about North Korea. There are other countries. And regardless, if the whole market is affected, you know, XRP is going to be affected, too, as well. So uh, I'm trying to be cautious of where I'm actually getting in. So with it being at $1.27, you know, maybe in the middle of the night, it might be at $1.20. And I might decide, OK, let me go ahead and 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 buy some more. So, folks, tell me what you think. I think this is a big deal with the Bank of International Settlements doing this. And, you know, we're looking at XRP being the main uh, cryptocurrency that they use in the banking system to help facilitate their transactions and payments. The white paper reforms, you know, it's interesting how Ripple calls it the white papers. You know, Iraq and all these other countries call their economic reform white paper. But, folks, this is all coming to a head. Hopefully, hopefully that within this next year, this time next year, everything will be different. And that things could change very quickly. As I see the month of September, a lot of revelations and a lot of changes. October, November, it's going to be a bumpy ride. So anyways, folks, uh, the, the support links are down below in the description. And so is Uphold and some of the other links uh, to get XRP. So I thank you folks for listening. God bless. And with that being said, Torsha Christian out.